Yo, so how's it going guys? Welcome back to another GTA 5 video. So as I'm sure you guys were aware, Rockstar Games dropped a brand new update into the game, which means they've changed the best ways to make money in the game as of right now. So I thought I'd go ahead and put together somewhat of an updated version to last week's money making methods, as you guys really seem to enjoy that video, as there was at least one money making method in that video, all of you guys could grind out and stack a ton of money in no time. So as always, if you guys do go on to enjoy the video and you would like to see me cover more money guides in the future, all I ask is you do return the favor with a like down below. And if you guys are new around here, hit that subscribe button and turn notifications on as I do post daily GTA 5 videos. With that being said, let's get into the video. Okay, so as you guys could probably tell already on screen, the very first money making method this week is by completing this week's brand new time trial. It is known as Del Perro Pier and it only has a part time of 1 minute 43 seconds, so you might as well go ahead and give it a go to earn some very, very quick money. Now the trick to beat in this week's time trial very, very easily in your very first attempt is to go ahead and start the time trial. As soon as you guys start the time trial, you want to press start and then you want to set a waypoint to the finish line. So now you guys can go ahead and restart the time trial and you've just got a simple, easy, clear route to go ahead and follow so you guys don't have to guess what left and right to take as the game actually won't give you guys a waypoint. You have to go ahead and do this yourself. Now, if you guys are wondering what is the best vehicle to use during these time trials, the best vehicle for me, I think, is the Hakuchu Drag. If you guys play on the PS5 and the Xbox Series, then go ahead and put the HSW upgrade on it. But no worries if you guys still play on PS4 and Xbox One, then as you guys can see on screen, I was able to complete this also on the Batty 801, which is one of the cheapest motorbikes in the game. And of course, for beating this week's brand new time trial, you guys are going to be earning a very nice $101,000 for what you guys can see on screen, what literally took me only 1 minute 30 seconds, so it's definitely worth going ahead and doing. However, if you guys play on the PS5 or Xbox series, then you guys will know we also have another time trial known as the HSW time trial, which is also located down by the beach, literally a stone's throw away from the normal time trial, and the HSW time trial is called Del Perro Beach and it's actually quicker than the previous time trial that I just showed you. As you guys can see on screen, it's got a part time of only 1 minute 21 seconds. Like I just said with the previous time trial, I would definitely suggest going ahead and using the Hakuchu Drag, just so you guys can swerve in and out of cars and traffic very easily. This motorbike is way too quick for these time trials, as I'm sure you guys are aware by now. If you guys go ahead and invest in this motorbike, fully upgrade it, by just simply completing these time trials for a few weeks, you're going to be earning your money back in no time. And last week, there was offering double money on the time trials, which would earn you guys 500k. So you guys, like I said, would have earned that very, very quickly by buying this motorbike. So like I said, just simply go ahead and set a waypoint before you guys start the time trial, reset it, and then you guys will have a clear route to go ahead and follow. You can dodge in between the cars very easily as long as you guys are using the Hakuchu Drag. And for completing the HSW time trial, you guys are going to be earning a very nice 200 and $50,000. So for simply completing both of this week's brand new time trials, it'll take you guys under three minutes to do so, and you're going to be earning a very nice 350k it's definitely worth doing so this week the third best money making method that all of you guys should definitely be making the most of and that is by grinding out the triple money and triple rp that rockstar games are currently offering on the mc contracts now there is quite a few different contracts that you guys can grind out however there is only a few that you guys want to focus on and grind out to make the most amount of money for the time spent on the game now the first contract that you guys definitely want to be grinding out and making the most of and the highest paying contract is a brand new mc contract known as life and death bikes and if you guys have never played this contract before i'll give you guys a quick rundown of how to beat it in the quickest way possible so as you guys can see on screen and if you guys aren't aware of course all of the MC contracts do take part in free roam, so it's up to you. You can do this in an invite-only session, 
or a public lobby, completely up to you. However, the first part of this mission is to simply make your way over to this house. You can use your Oppressor Mark II or any helicopter for this bit as there will be a few enemies waiting outside the house. So simply just spray them down quickly. You will notice that the entire garden will catch fire making it very easy just taking out all the enemies pretty much for you so once you've done that go ahead and make your way inside of the apartment now do be prepared because you will have enemies on site instantly so pull out your gun straight away and just take out these few enemies waiting around the kitchen area in the sitting room there should only be about five or six of these enemies very very easy to deal with especially considering the amount of money we're going to be receiving during the triple money payout it's definitely worth going ahead and doing so once you guys have taken the enemies out on the ground floor make your way upstairs now you want to be careful when you make your way into this room as there will be an enemy right around the corner as you guys can see just waiting to take you guys out instantly so just take him out and then simply go ahead and flick this switch that will be directly behind him which will open up the elevator now once you guys have done that of course make your way inside the elevator which is going to take you guys into the garage where you can go ahead and find a death bite now just like earlier on in the video as soon as you guys enter the garage do be prepared because the enemies will be sitting there waiting for you with the guns there is one specific enemy with like a balaclava which is extremely hard to kill so make sure you guys go for him straight away and as you guys can see he's just taking a several amounts of headshots before he dies however once you guys have taken out those three enemies simply go ahead and jump on the death bike and make your way over to the meeting point and try not to fall off your bike like i did on the way there as you guys can see on screen because mc members will surround you if you do fall off the motorbike so do be prepared to pull out your gun straight away and then jump back on the motorbike is it just me or have you guys noticed that the npcs driving around los santos are just acting way more stupid than usual just crashing into you randomly not indicating going through red lights i mean the list goes on however as you guys can see on screen once you've jumped back on the death bike and you eventually head over to the meeting point there will be a bunch of mc members all just sat around in one area it's up to you you can do what i do on screen right here and spray them all down with the death bike or what you guys might find a lot easier is just picking them off from a distance so you can pull out an explosive sniper and just blow them all to pieces from miles down the road making this mission like i said a walk in the park and considering how much we're going to be getting for doing this mission it is definitely worth grinding out over the next week whilst rockstar games are offering triple money and triple rp on it however as you guys can see on screen once i pull out my sniper just simply shoot all of these mc members to pieces simply go ahead jump back on the death bike and then you guys will get the option to deliver the death bike back to your clubhouse with some bonus cash and rp always do this as like i said rockstar games are offering triple money on this mission so for completing this very very easy and straightforward mc contract you guys are going to be bagging a very nice $120,000. Rockstar Games really haven't offered such high payouts for such an easy and straightforward mission. Now the second highest paying MC contract is the other new MC contract added into the game recently with the Criminal Enterprises DLC and that contract is known as hit the roof and once again is a very very easy and straightforward mc contract that i'm sure all of you guys will be able to complete straight away in your very first attempt and once again can be done 100 solo so i'll give you guys a quick rundown of this mission and show you guys how much it does pay out so for this mission all you simply have to do is make your way on top of this roof as you guys can see on screen now once you guys are on the roof just simply go ahead and pick off as many enemies as you can once you guys have shot a few enemies make your way inside of this container right here where you will find the red and blue duffel bag go ahead and equip this onto your character and now you guys can go ahead and search the containers to find the oppressor now i'm not too sure whether the container is random every time however every time that i played this mission which is three to four times now it's always been in this container so maybe that's random luck 
however go ahead and check these three containers once you guys find the oppressor all you have to do from here is simply go ahead and get a cargo bob now before you guys jump in the cargo bob to collect the container what i would suggest you guys do is do exactly as i do on screen take out the enemies in the helicopters first as they are quite active in gta 5 online nowadays i'm not gonna lie rockstar games have definitely upped the levels of the npcs and the fire rate that they let off and the accuracy because i've seen a lot of players struggling with the npcs in gta 5 online recently so for safekeeping what i would suggest you guys do like i said take out the helicopters first then go ahead jump in the cargo bob pick up the container and all you guys simply have to do is drop it off to a buyer and as easy as that that is the mission done and for completing this mission you guys are going to be receiving an insane ninety thousand dollars which like i said this mission could probably be done well under 10 minutes five minutes if you guys are really good gta 5 players so definitely worth going ahead and grinding out over the next week or so however moving on to the next best money making method that you guys want to be making the most of over the next week and that is the double money and double rp that rockstar games have added onto these brand new community series jobs as you guys can see on screen you can have up to 30 players in these jobs and you guys are going to be increasing your payout for each player in the mission so for a quick example as you guys can see on screen for only 17 players in a lobby and for playing the mission for seven minutes this guy was able to earn around ninety thousand dollars as well as twenty thousand rp so he could have even got more if we had more players in the game if you had a full 30 player lobby you would earn over 100k easily by playing these brand new community series jobs however more importantly in case you guys missed my video yesterday rockstar games are also going to be giving you guys a bonus 200k for simply playing just one of these jobs once so it's definitely worth playing at least once over the next week just so you guys can earn a bonus 200k on what you guys would earn in the game however moving on to the next money maker method and that is the triple money and triple rp that rockstar games have extended on the hot ring circuit races now these pay exactly like the previous one that i told you guys so you guys are going to be earning more money per player but to increase your chances of winning i wouldn't invite a full lobby into the game unless you guys are really confident in your racing ability so just to give you guys an example with six players in one of these races that took around seven minutes for winning this game i was able to earn $55,000 which was very good for only seven minutes of racing so like i said if i had maybe 10 players in this race i wouldn't have done so good as players crash into each other so to increase your chances i would suggest doing it with six or eight players just so you guys can find the right balance of still earning good money but still standing a chance of winning the race however that is going to do it for me guys the best money methods in gta 5 online as of right now as always if you guys do appreciate the quick money guides and you would like to see me cover more in the future all i ask is you do return the favor with a like down below and if you guys are new around here hit that subscribe button as i do post daily gta 5 videos thanks a lot for watching and i'll see you in my next video